hello guys welcome to DTW tutorials if you've not subscribed to my channel please try to click the subscribe button and uh, there's a notification bell there which you click to get uh, notified of the every video you know you'll be the first to notified of every video uh, tutorials I upload now I've been treating uh, past questions on post UME exams for about three weeks now I've treated on UIDA's University of Ibadan I've also done on OAU, that's Sobafemi Owolowo University. You can check out the video on my channel. I've also uploaded one on Unilag uh, post UME past questions for 2007. Uh, but today, I'm going to be treating the Unilag post UME for 2010. And I just heard that um, Unilag exams, that's their post UME exam dates, is what on the 4th of October 2017. So I wanted to upload this video tomorrow but it's good uh, it's the best to upload it right now so it can help students because there's no more time to prepare for this exam so here let's go on to the questions so we have a uh, unilag from 2010 the first question says calculate this this in base 5 minus 1442 in base 5 so let's write this 33105 this year normally unilag um, questions are usually uh, 15 maths, 15 English, and 15 general knowledge. But this particular year, it has 40 questions on maths. That's why I'm picking this year. So you can have several questions on, to play around with. And basically, the syllabus is just when you get to know your jam syllabus very well, and you're going to excel in this exam. Okay? So we are, they said what? We are subtracting this. So you remember our number base. And I've also on my channel treated several topics on number base, so you can check to revise long number base, log reading, about 20 topics in maths I've treated, so you can watch the videos and do revisions on it. So here, this is a number base. When we're subtracting, when we borrow a 1, that 1 would be what? A 5. Okay, so this will be a 5 minus 2, which will give us a 3. We're left with 0 here. We have to still borrow a 1, because 0 can't, can't subtract 4 from 0. So when we borrow a 1, that 1 is still a 5. So 5 minus 4, that is a 1. We are left with what here? We are left with 2. 2, we can't subtract 4 from 2. We have to borrow a 1. When we borrow that 1, that is 5. 5 plus 2 is a 7. 7 minus 4 will give us a 3. What are we left with here? 2. So 2 minus 1 is what? 1. So this is our answer in base 5. Option A is the correct answer. Here we have the second question. It says what? Convert this to 5 decimal places so you know in decimal places all we need to do is start our count from here right so we have one two three four five now the next number is it great equal to five or greater than five it is not so it can be approximated to as one it can be carried as in rounded up as one so it's rounded up as zero so our answer would definitely be three point one four one five nine okay and now what's the right option here option b our next question says that's number three it says if the length of a notebook 15 centimeter was measured as what 16.8 centimeter calculate the percentage error to two significant figures so this is percentage error and remember percentage error is equal to what error in measurement over actual size that's the correct size times what hundred now what's the error of in measurement it was 16.8 minus 15 that's 16.8 minus 15 over the actual size is what 15 okay times what hundred so here what would this give us 1 1.1.8 1 right over 15 times hundred here we can shift this decimal here we, we, we have 18 so we have 18 over 150 okay we have 18 over let me write this down again so we have 18 over one after shifting the decimal so we can cancel out uh five year three five year two three year one three year six so we're left with what six times 12 which will give us what 12 so in two decimal in two significant figure is what 12 point what zero zero percent so our right option is what option a our next question says a worker a worker present salary is 24000 per annum 
his annual increment is 10% of his basic salary. What will be his annual salary at the beginning of the third year? So we're looking for his annual salary at the beginning of the third year. So first of all, the first year, what the first year is what? 24,000. The second year will be equal to what? 24,000. Since the increment is 10%, plus what 10 percent of 24 and what is 10 percent of 24 24 plus 10 percent is just you know 10 percent of your tithe you know if you're a christian you pay tithe you always know 10 percent so 20 percent of 24,000 is what 2400 so when we add this we have zero zero four six two naira then the third year will be what this particular second year plus another what 10 percent of this amount so 26400 plus 10 percent of 26400 and what's 10 percent of 26400 that will give us what 2640 okay so we have this when we add this what are we going to get we're going to have a 040 zero zero, that's 10 carry one and we have a 9 and 2. So our answer is what? 29,040 naira at the third year. And our correct option is what? Option B. We have to be fast because this is going to be a long video. I have to break this video if it uh, becomes too long because I notice uh, most people don't watch a very long video. So I might just cut it at a particular minute. So here it says express the product of this in standard form. So we have 0 0.0014 times what 0 0.011 so product so we shift here one two three three okay so we have 1.4 times 10 raised to the power minus three one will shift a decimal place to to the uh right side it's raised to a power of what minus three so times we shift this how many times two times so we have 1.1 times 10 raised to the power minus what two so here we have 1.4 times 1.1 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. This is uh, times, so we are going to add these powers, so it will be plus what? Minus 2. And let us um, multiply this. That's long multiplication. So this is what? 4, 1, times this, we have 1, uh, 4, I mean, and 1. And when we add, we have 4, what? 5, 1. I will count how many times this is 1, 2. So we shift that. This might be less 1, 2. So we have 1.54 times what 10 raised to the power minus 3 minus 2 is what minus 5. So our right option here is what option D. Our next question says evaluate this. This is indices. So what do we have here? 81. 81, we can read 81. That's 3. 3 raised to the power 4 bracket 3 over 4 minus 27 also can be raised to 3 raised to the power what, 3. 1 over 3 over 2 times 2 raised to the power 3. 2 raised to the power 3 is what? 8. So this would, if this power multiply this, this would cancel. Uh, this power, this is a 3 here. That's a mistake. So this power multiplying this, this would cancel. So what are we left with? We're left with what? 3 raised to the power 3 minus 3 over 3 raised times 8 is what? 24. And what's 3 raised to the power 3? 3 raised to the power 3 is what? 27 minus 3 over 24 24 what is 27 minus 3 which is 24 over 24 and this will give us what equal to what one and our right option here is option b our next question says find the value of 16 raised to the power 3 over 2 plus log 0 0.001 base 10 and plus log 32 base 2 so here let's um, simplify this now 16, this can be 2 raised to the power 4. This is just simplification, right? All bracket 3 over 2, raised to the power 3 over 2, plus log 10. This we can simplify this as saying 1, 2, 3, then 4. So we have log 10, 10 raised to the power minus 4. When we shift 4 places, we have what? Minus 4 plus log 2 raised to the power 32 that will be give us 2 raised to the power what 5 okay 
what we're trying to do is just to cancel out our logs so here to simplify this what are we left with if we open this bracket this is one this is two so two times three we have what two raised to power what okay plus what do we have here we have this will come down that's minus four log ten ten plus this will come down that's five log two two so here what are we left with what's this six two raised to the power six will give us a 64 okay because raised to the power five is a 32 times another two will give us a 64 this times this sign will give us a minus what four where this would cancel this would cancel so we have a minus four and plus five you know in the laws of log reading you can check out that topic on my channel when you have this it is equal to what one that's log of the same base is equal to one so when we have this we have 64 minus 4 which will give us 60 plus 5 and we have what is 65 so our answer is option d so our next question which is question number eight it says simplify this okay this is solved there's also a topic on solve which you could use for your revision so when you have this this is simply saying what rationalization so you have to multiply by the conjugate of this and denominator and the conjugate is just simply changing the sign to what a negative sign the opposite of whatever sign that is what beneath there so in multiplying we have this when you have a root multiplying a root is still the number then we have minus root 12 times root 3 that is what 36 minus root 36 this times this will be minus root 36 and this time this will be what plus a 3 since this is the same so it will become 3 here we just have what a 12 minus a 3 okay i've explained this in the video so here what do we have this what is root uh, 36 which is a 6 so we have 12 minus 6 minus 6 plus 3 over this uh, minus 3 is what it will give us a what a 9 and what would this give us 12 that's saying 12 minus 6 which is uh, 6 then my uh, 6 minus 6 is what 0 so we're left with what, 3 over 9 this year 1 this year 3 so we have our answer as 1 over 3 and the correct option here is option a our next question says four members of a society first 11 cricket team are also members of the first 14 rugby team how many boys played for at least one of the two teams this is set so let's just draw our vein diagram where this is the what this is cricket and they said four members played four members of of the so, so, social first 11 cricket team are also members of the first 11 rugby team so it means we have four four members intersecting each other so we have four here four is playing for the cricket and also for what rugby and how many people are playing for cricket we have 11 so cricket is equal to 11 and rugby first 14 is equal to what 14 so how many people here are playing only uh rugby it will be what 14 minus 4 which will give us what 10 here it will be what uh 11 minus 4 which will give us what is 7 the question says how many boys played for at least one of the two teams that questions at least one of the two teams that is those that played for cricket played for rugby and also played the same game so it will be what seven plus four plus ten which is equal to what what seven plus four that is what eleven eleven plus ten will give us what twenty one so our correct option here is option b now um, I'm going to stop here because the video will be quite long, so I'm going to stop here. So, the uh, final question here says, if, that's question 10, says, if this S is equal to this given particular set, then S is equal to what? Now, they say uh, S is equal to S squared equal to 9, where X is greater than 4. So, if X is 5, what's 5 squared? 5 squared is 25 so it doesn't satisfy it's going to be a null set not empty but no so this is this is our sign for a null set our answer is what c so thank you for staying tuned to today's class see you in our next class where we're going to take the remaining parts of this uh, question uh, that might be today i might upload that 
uh, or no, tomorrow I might upload the part two, but today I'll be uploading this part. So thank you for staying tuned to today's class. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this channel and you are destined to win. And now one more note for students who don't have data, there's this particular app on YouTube called YouTube Go, which um, it would, uh, when you watch through that particular app, the megabytes will be less. Let's say if you have a video of 12 MB, when you watch through that, you're going to be using like about 2 MB to, for your data to watch. I'm actually going to do a video for that to help students to enable them watch more of this um, educational channel. So thank you for staying tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and share to your friend. Bye.